Let's go to Saudi Arabia now because a woman has been jailed for 34 years after she posted on social media calling for reforms and the release of activists. This is the woman, Salma Al Shahab. She's a Saudi citizen and a student. She was studying a PhD at Leeds University here in the UK. But she was arrested in 2021 when she went back on holiday in Saudi Arabia after making the post. She's accused of aiding dissidents seeking to disrupt public order and warned it was the longest prison sentence ever for a peaceful activist. Now, one of her Twitter posts praised a group of women, uh, their women's rights activists, including this woman. This is Lujain al Hathloul. She and others were detained just before the ban on women driving was lifted a few years ago. The BBC has been speaking to Lujain's sister, Lina, who works for an independent organization that supports human rights in Saudi Arabia. It is uh, outrageous and it's actually unprecedented. Um, I mean, we've seen that the Saudi government has been selling the, the narrative of um, empowering women and improving women's rights. And this sentence, after my sister's sentence, is the, an illustration of, of it only being words. Uh, we had warned at the very beginning that rehabilitating uh, Crown Prince Hamad bin Salman in the international community would pave the way for more repression. And actually, after Boris Johnson's visit to Saudi Arabia and after MBS's visit to France, we clearly see that they're doubling down on repression and still imprisoning anyone who's um, criticizing the regime. I think that, unfortunately, um, she gathers all the criteria that um, really frustrates the, the Saudi regime. She is someone that ex who expresses her opinion. She has been, um, you know, she has been expressing solidarity with my sister and all the other activists. She is female and she is part of the Shia minority. So I think that this is why it has been uh, you know, unprecedented and um, uh, very harsh. Thanks, Talina. Well, let's hear now from Bethany al Haidai, who is from the Freedom Initiative. That's a human rights organization. And she's been working on Salma's case since last year. The judiciary in Saudi Arabia is an absolute mess. It's chaos and things have been changing so quickly that I don't know what will happen. But I will say that our organization was made aware of new details today. We read through her defense and she had reported that she was forcibly and intentionally and intentionally drugged with sleeping pills and antidepressants during her interrogation se session. She called for investigations to happen into how she was mistreated. She was denied access to a lawyer. Um, she reported that she, she, her interrogator was trying to force her to say that she sympathized with the Muslim Brotherhood. She reported discrimination on the basis of being a Shia Muslim. And they never investigated this. So this feels like Lujaina had the case all over again, but now we're dealing with 34 years that's Bethany al Hadari. Excuse me, I mispronounced her name. Crackdowns on dissent in Saudi Arabia is not new, however, especially in the past five years under Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He claims he's a reformer, improving women's rights. But activists say this latest sentencing shows that's not true and the situation is worsening. Here's Bethany again. It's completely contradictory. You cannot say that you'll be leading the world and bringing progress to this this futuristic city called the line just a couple weeks ago and now you're sentencing women's rights activists to 34 years in prison over tweets it's completely contradictory and it shows that this is not true reform it is just a a tactic to make the international community be quiet over these violations